In the previous video, I showed you how to set up and configure an annotated rule set, which PHPCS will look for as it scans up the directory tree. Right now, I'm going to show you how to specify a coding standard via the command line. It's actually really easy. You simply pass in a configuration flag called standard, and you have to point it at a standard. So how do you know what kind of standards you have? Well, you can print a, li print a list of installed standards by using phpcs-i. If you've watched my previous videos, you've seen that I've done this uh, quite a few times. But I've already installed Web Dev Studios and then all of the WordPress coding standards, as well as a client standard that was given to us, obviously, by a client. By default, PHPCS comes with these standards. And then I have installed these custom standards. And then we talked about an annotated rule set, which is in this directory. So how do we use these uh, rule sets? It's easy. PHPCS dash dash standard equals, and I'm going to say Web Dev Studios because it's installed globally. And then I can pass in the name of my file. PHPCS runs. It finds an error. That's great. If I want to switch to maybe, I don't know, the GEGCS standard, which is our client it can scan. It found a bunch of different errors. So this file obviously doesn't align with the GEGCS coding standards, and that's fine. We can even use our custom, our annotated rule set in this very directory. So to do that, um, I have to make sure I'm in a directory with a standard, or if let's say I'm not in the directory, let's go back a level. So I'm in my themes folder. What I can do is I can type phpcs dash dash standard equals, and then I have to say um, it's in the WD underscores folder, and it's called phpcs.xml, and I want to scan WD, WD <laughs> underscores slash 404.ph. This would be a lot easier if you were actually in the directory you want to scan. There we go. That's how you tell PHPCS which set of standards you want it to sniff.